I have always wanted my whole life to see the unity of black and white workers. But this thing is more like a Klan rally. Okay, excuse mm. me. Oh, uh, my name, mm. excuse me, can mm. you? My name is Karen Pomerantz. I'm a resident of College Park. And can we have your I question, a, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. But I have you. a statement no, first. No, no. May we have your question, please? The oldest trick in the book is to blame a particular okay, racial, uh, ethnic, or religious me. group we would like your question, for please. economic problems. Okay, can we have your question, please? Goldman Sachs paid $20 billion. Jerry. Dollar Jerry. Mm. If the bankers in this country are the ones who are laying off people, causing home foreclosures, destroying the economic opportunities for all of us in this country, what is the benefit to us in this room to have workers turned against each other, whether we're black, white, Latino, Asian, or whatever? I hear this a lot, especially since I've been on the campaign trail. I've been called all kinds of racist and oh, yeah. bigots and, and xenophobic <laughs> and all that, and, and you can see why. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> this is what I have to say to you and people who are like you who support this illegal foreign workforce. Mm -hmm. I would respect you and your like a lot more if you would follow them back to their countries and lead a revolution there. Right. I don't think in, I don't think anybody's suggesting that immigrants or illegal immigrants have caused the economic collapse that we've seen in the last couple of years. There's no question that there are huge culprits around. One of the mistakes that's made, though, is that when it's the statement's made that immigration is not the sole cause or even the major cause of a problem, it shouldn't be dealt with. And I think that's what we find over and over again is that our high immigration, especially illegal immigration, exacerbates various problems. And the question is, why should we allow an illegal activity to exacerbate those various problems? This is not about, uh, this is not about turning workers against workers, but the fact is, there are 25 million illegal residents of this country who are looking for a job, can't find one, and the illegal, and it makes no sense for people who have come here and broken law illegally to have a job in, in, instead of them. And, that, and I think black versus brown kind of thing. The fact is, is that Hispanic Americans are almost as bad off and the unemployment statistics is black Americans. Anything that's done on immigration that's good for black Americans is going to be good for Hispanic Americans as well. And a, a poll just came out from Zagwe this week that shows that likely Hispanic voters, 52% of them say immigration is too high, only 7% say it's too low. Latino voters in this country uh, basically, I think, agree. Uh, with uh, with this panel, so it's not. This is not a case of trying to turn people against Hispanics. I, I would say that everything we're talking about here is for Hispanic Americans as well. 